What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be breaking down a reason why I think the gun trips is such an effective offense, specifically against some of the meta defenses in Madden 21. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies happening right here on my YouTube channel. Now in this video, we're talking about our text message membership I actually just released a full gun trips offensive scheme out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. This pairs very nicely with the gun spread offense. So if you have not already gotten the text membership, it's really easy to sign up for it and it's completely free for you to do so. All you have to do is text the word Madden to my cell phone number and my cell phone number is uh, 208-218-6900. So that's how you signed up for the true fan or the, the text message. Uh, membership. I think it's one of the best deals right now in the Madden community uh, just because it's basically you get a free scheme every week. You get a free offense or a free defense every single week. Um, this is going to continue through Madden 22. So if you want to start kind of preparing for Madden 22 through this, I would recommend it. Um, it's kind of the approach that I'm taking to getting prepared for the next season. So gun trips out of the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, playbook all you're gonna do is you're gonna come out and you see here I'm just gonna go over to the gun trips um, you see that we can obviously sub some players in do some different things honestly this is really fine um, let me just talk about the packages really quickly there's really no major package the tight end slot package is a simple way you can get four wide receivers if you want so basically you go to tight end slot and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come over to the slot and sub a receiver and that's that's all you got to do um, if you want to get that for if you're just running gun trips I would recommend that but if you're wanting to use all the other formations I wouldn't uh, recommend that but you'll see here we could do something like this and uh, the audibles we're going to talk about uh, in the in the um, videos we're going to talk about uh, middle slam we're going to talk about sale we're going to talk about fade stops RPO read bubble some really good plays um, but the play that I want to break down for you today is the play sale uh, I think this is the best play out of this formation um, it's the most versatile it's a very versatile passing concept which is one of the major reasons why I like this formation so much so one of the things right off the bat that I want to talk about is if they go um, with some type of cover two look you are always going to want to run with your trips to the wide side of the field. Um, the other thing is the spacing from this specific gun trips, in my opinion, is actually a little bit better than the spacing that you actually get out of trips tight end just because of the, the positioning of the players. Um, Miller's a little bit more outside than he is in the trips tight end. Um, you just have a little bit better natural spacing. And then obviously you have a quads look, so they can't really run match coverage on you at all. Anyways, if you take a look at the circle receiver, you're going to see that if they do run cover two, Brady doesn't have the best arm, but you're going to have this nice little window to be able to get this over the top of the defense. Let me show you that one more time, see if Brady can complete the throw. Again, once you see cover two, basically if he's even, he's leaving. So once he kind of catches up to him, just pass lead it to the outside, click on, and you're going to get that nice sideline catch uh, relatively easily. Now, uh, what I like to do, and again, you, everyone is different. You can do this how you want to do it. Um, but an easy way to do this uh, in a way that's really, really simple is to simply take the X receiver, and we're just going to put him on a drag route. And then we're going to take the running back, and we're going to put him on a wheel route or a tail route. Okay, either one is up to you. Ideally, I would do the table route. And the reason I like this is because if they are running some type of pressure, uh, like if they're setting up a pressure, something like this right here, um, if you see that linebacker on the right side blitz, you're just immediately throwing here and you're going right upfield and you can see that you can get some really, really, really big plays out of this uh, out of this little concept. So that's one of the major reasons why I love to put the running back on a table route. If you put him on a wheel route, you don't always have that same um, opportunity. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, like, let's say they man blitz you. Um, the cool part about this formation is if you get a man blitz, you're going to see that, um, number one, you're going to get a free release to X uh, because the safeties are guarding him. And number two, you're going to get this little crossing action right here, which is going to leave the running back wide open yet again. So if they blitz you out of man or zone, um, the running back is pretty much always going to be open. So this is why it's really, really good for 3-3-5 wide. Even if they hard flat, um, which I am hard flatting because I got my purple set to five yards, you're going to see, you're going to have a lot of success. And let me just continue to show you this, uh, this little table route, but also this uh, spot route. So another thing you could do 
um, let's say their user goes with the drag, you can easily throw this little spot route right in this pocket. What I like about gun trips and what I think is going to be really, really good about spread type formations in Madden 22 is the spacing. And because blitzing is going to continue to be more difficult every year in Madden, it's consistently becoming more difficult and more difficult to get pressure. So you're going to see a shift to more of a base rush or coverage scheme and they're not they're just not gonna be able to cover everybody if they blitz five or six and so um, that's why i really like this concept now let's talk about kind of a traditional uh mabel concept this is kind of something you're definitely going to see online something like this right here this play is actually pretty good against mabel coverage uh because you have this this spot route you have the table route and the drag so what you're going to get here is this drag on the left side will typically do a decent job of beating mabel coverage there's another uh, kind of setup that you can do out of this if you know that they're going to go with a Mabel coverage. Uh, the other thing you could do against Mabel coverage, though, is it's pretty likely that they're going to want to kind of start over here in case the running back's on a table route. So they're going to do something like that with their user. And if they do something like that, then um, what you're going to be able to do, and if you don't want to leave that fade out there, let's say you don't want to leave that stock fade to Chris Godwin, if you notice they're running a lot of cover three, just put him on a curl route um, so you have a nice high-low over there on that sideline. But what's really cool is this route to square basically is going to be a nice low ball against against the Mabel coverage. Now, Brady doesn't have Gunslinger. I still think, and I think in Madden 22, it's, I, it is a little bit better from what I've heard uh, and from what I've I kind of observed myself. But I would tell you that I think Gunslinger is still and is going to be one of the most important abilities to have on your quarterback because – it allows you to just pass through these zones really easily. So you see right there that nice little read. That's really simple. And the drag, um, the, the timing of everything is actually kind of important. So let's say that they do, uh, let's say that they put these guys uh, on, the, on the, the higher coverage, which is basically something like this, right? And then they have the, the Mabel coverage where they're doing this concept. Um, what you're going to see is the importance of this uh this square receiver so you see just wait on the cut and then you're gonna get that nice animation right there that's what we're looking for every single time um, the cool part is that's not just good against zone that's also really good against like a lot of people like to run uh you know when you run spread or something you're gonna see a lot of man coverage uh just because of the press animations this year but the cool part is this is a, basically an automatic press beater and so you're going to kind of get them to have to go to the solo receiver side. And so once they start to have to go to the solo receiver side, then what's going to happen is they're going to basically rely on this coverage on the back side here. And then they're going to kind of use her over in this area to just to show this. I'm going to put the guy on a, a route. This is where we can run basic trips tight end uh, is where this is, is honestly what happens. So this essentially will become basic trips tight end. So what we're going to do, we're going to put circle on an out route. We are going to uh, put the um, we're going to put the the running back on an option route just like so. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to motion over one of these two. Uh, I personally like to motion over R one uh, just because of the better just because of how good the spacing is. And we're actually going to leave that smart route out route. So this motion right here is really good for that specific type of defense because if they're running cover three, you can easily throw this out route, which makes them run cover two, which now we get them in a situation where, you know, they, they're saying, okay, well, we're going to try to get a little bit aggressive and we're going to run some cover two on you, basically a cover two Mabel with our guy over here in the middle of the field. Um, this is a really simple concept. And the cool part about this play is it's actually pretty much set up to beat this. So all we're going to do is we're simply going to put the R1 receiver on a hitch route or a drag route. Um, and then we're gonna take the running back and put him on a little flat route, little table route. And what you're gonna see is this is gonna create a nice little high-low flood. Looks exactly the same, but now they're running cover two. And now we have like a nice fade route that's gonna get over the top of that. So there's a lot you can do with this offense. And we break it all down in the text membership completely for free for you. So if you wanna get my gun trips, offensive scheme for free all you have to do is text the word madden to 208-218-6900 thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and again my number i'm going to put that down in the description as well so that you can get access to that